Alright there guys, Lexman here with a redoing a video which I did the other day with a bit more stuff because the one I did the other day bugged out a bit and um, didn't upload properly and the end got cut off. So I'm going to redo it now, go over the features I went over last time and um, talk about what's new. So, what I was thinking the other day was about how with adventure maps nowadays you have, um, you pretty much get the map and then you'll get a folder with various notes in it, saved as just note text files and you can just it just gives you them and then you read them at your discretion. However I was thinking it'd be better as well instead of having a folder with just a jumble of text files for you to read, instead of having a designated sidelong application to run your storyline in. So being a fan of programming, doing programming, I decided I thought I'd give it a try and making one. So I'll show you what I came up with. So um, I'm just gonna run it from the store.exe file to show you that it can run without the source code. So, as you can see, as it comes up here, welcome to this adventure map. I should change, sorry. Um, just I'll explain why in a second. But if I just put in the name Northern Shore, which is the name of this demo map that I'm gonna make to go along with this. Um, and if if I just run it again here, okay. So that I just booted from the, the actual source code just so it compiles properly. Okay, so as you can see here, it gives you this is beta version 2.0. The one I looked at in the last video was the very was the first beta. It's very it was in the very beginning of it when it only had this functionality now it's got a bit more functionality which you can't see at the moment but I'll go back in a sec so as you can see it gives you the options to um, read notes, read the rules and to exit of course and uh, I'll show you here um, it tells you the name of the map, the creator and the name of the application was made by Aaron Wall, which is me so if I show you now the rules for example type in the rules and then hit enter it'll show you the rules which you've designated for your map and then hitting continue will clear the screen. Now the rules are easily changeable at the moment just in this text file. I can add Minecraft is out of beta. Save that. And um I close this. I'll just switch to where it is. I'm not sure. And run it again. Minecraft is out of beta, and that's changed without having to ex compile it from the source code. Runs independently. So, other option you can do is use notes. So, for example, if in the game it tells me to come here and go, it says note one. I go over to uh, this, type in note, type in one, and it gives me the first note, which, if I show you here, is the same as that. Steve was blah blah blah, and then. Here it's the same, Steve, what, large object, large ship, that, etc. And it's true that's not the same. Everyone, you have multiple notes. Note two, you're on a lonely island. Um, and then, tap, being in exit, spell it right. Make sure this feature, so I was going to go to name to distribute, and exits. Now, the other feature which I've done since I made the video show to begin with which is a beta version 2, which I'm working on is the dev mode of things. I mentioned this in the last video, so if you did see it, you'll know what it is. What I want to do is make this so this can be used by other people for their adventure maps so that you can create all the all the rules, all the notes, change the map name and the creator name without having to go into the source code, etc, etc. So, what I'm coming what I'm thinking is, well I've got dev mode, it's doesn't come up on this screen because you wouldn't want everyone to know your dev mode. It has a password to get onto it so people can't just edit your, your rules. The only one which will be just editable by people will be the default version which I will provide. The one you provide, you can change, you change the password on it so that it's not simple. So, please enter the password, uh, which is just default. And then it gives you these options to rename the map, create a new note, create map rules, change create a name, change the dev mode password. So the new new note, new rules and change password features aren't being worked on yet. I haven't got around to those yet. 
on my to-do list. Um, the rename map and the change creator name are the two features that I'm working on at the moment with it. They aren't working yet. They were working yesterday, but because of some changes, they've bugged out a bit and I haven't fixed them yet. So, if I show you, if I go on rename, oh, type that, I type in one to rename the map, and type in test, and then I have to exit because it's bugging. But then it just changes it to nothing and leaves it as blank. And I think it's the same for if I try to change the map name. Change create name, sorry. So if I type test maker, okay, exit again, that's when we fix. It just stays the same, it doesn't even change. So those are two things I need to work on. I'll hopefully get those fixed today, and then I might even be able to get up to some of the other features of the dev mode, like being able to enter rules and enter your own notes. So um, yeah. Um, hopefully this will be out soon. It's a nice little feature. Hopefully I'll one day be able to get it working it as a Windows application instead of a command line application, which would be good to have. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. You know me a bit about programming stuff I like to do. Um, I hope you have a good day. I shall see you later.